हेलो दिस इज सीमा राजपाल एंड यू आर वॉचिंग स्ट्रेट अप बाय एरेक्स लाइव सो द जेई एडवांस रिजल्ट वर रिलीज ये स्टडे जून एटीनथ we already know that vc reddy from nagakurnool district of telangana is the topper of the exam scoring 341 out of 360 as many as 180372 candidates appeared for the examination and 43773 have been declared as qualified now that the results are out counseling is the next question career counselor and analyst jay prakash gandhi with his advice can help you through it he also presents result analysis and enlightens us about options that lie beyond iits let's hear from him directly jay advance 2023 results of cup in fact it was an expected lines because everybody knew that this time advance exams was very really competitive In fact, very happy to see the Hyderabad zone has scored very well, and many toppers were from Hyderabad zone. But one thing is very clear that the Hyderabad zone students were very clear in preparing, in mindset with that they should do well not only in main but also in advance. But in other zones, we have seen that many, not many, but few students have done very well in main exams, like scoring more than ninety nine point five nine nine. But their scores in main, if you look at They have scored even less than hundred in the advanced examination. That is point to be seen. So many people from Hyderabad zone have clearly concentrated their exams practically very well, both in the main and advanced examination. And this is going to have an impact because these students from Hyderabad definitely will prefer the IITs from the south zone or the NITs from the south, preferably. Leave, leave around the top like IIT Bombay, IIT Chennai, or IIT Delhi, Kharagpur. But other than that, they would prefer definitely to come into South. And if you look at the choice also, this time they are getting the choice is becoming computer science always been one of the top preference. But definitely there is an upswing for the electronics related electrical also. The demand and desire to join the chemical, mechanical. and civil and other secondary courses is coming down like last time also in fact this time if if you don't get into iits if you have a good score in uh, in a main exam definitely you think about uh, nits or triple iits or in few triple iits you know that you have to apply separately and also there are central funding technical institute you can also prefer for it But before giving choice, make a complete study. Don't just follow the last year preference and all this. Every year the preference changes. So I I advise the students learn about the the institutions, how they are placed in NIRF, how their dream super dream offers, how the centers of excellence have been developed, how the industry institution interactions, how many industry MOUs have they kept. all this you need to keep in mind before you give a choice just like that just go don't go blindly and give a choice just following the last year's trend or the previous year's trend though you can take the help of there are some apps and there are a lot of websites to help you but still tell you you have to analyze by yourself then give a proper choice filling and remember when you give choice filling remember that give as many as choices possible and also you can make make sure that mark 1 mark 2 will give you uh, the results will give you probably where you will get accordingly you can make changes so that when the when the real first round starts you can really know where you are going to heading for it and in every time please before giving freezing or giving a choice option like uh, the slide or float or freezing decide properly don't give immediate action think about it and take the options whether to freeze it or slide it or a uh, floating next very important people wants to know how how to go about it uh, uh, the what will be the trend of the uh, the marks are cut off or rank if you look at uh, the, the looking at the trend now this year the students who got around 115 to 125 will definitely get into old iits like Uh, the courses very secondary courses like material science and all this uh, or maybe in civil in some old iits like guwahati also 
but they they might get into electrical or electronics related courses in new i new iits the fairly new iits like tirupati darwad or the palakkad and all this but if the student is able to score 140 to 160 range definitely there is a possibility to get into top new iits like uh, like grouper and all this the electronic or even sometimes you might get into computer science also but if you got 180 to 200 there's a chance for you to get into computer science and electronics and communication in top 8 to 10 uh, uh, iits but if you're able to score 230 plus and around 230 plus definitely get into computer science and electronics in the top 4 iits like bombay chennai or the karakpur or delhi will not be a problem and also make sure that you need to give as many as choices as possible it's better and make your final tre- uh, final uh, uh, corrections after the mark 1 uh, uh, the uh, the publication of mark 1 uh, outcome so this you need to keep in mind and if you're able to do it definitely you can go about it and remember always take a primary subjects than the secondary subjects because the world is moving towards a virtual digital world so definitely doing a primary course adding on skills will be definitely will be good for you to move up in your career many students and parents want to know sir whether they can uh, sacrifice one year do the repeaters course and join next time in iits or top institution is it right way i tell you if you scored more than 130 plus and you got a very good score of 97 98 percentile in main exam i don't think i'll advise you to go for a repeaters but if your score is less than 100 and if you're able to score very well in in main exam if you scored very well for example you scored more than 97 98 99 but your advanced score is less maybe you can think about doing repeaters and make sure that you you get main exam also well and advance also very well but if you scored very less in in main exam and also in advance i will not advise you to go for repeaters i would rather tell you to look for the good in engineering institutions in state run or the self financing or deemed universities and always remember that in future it is more than a degree in the skills what you are going to develop it's going to play important role so even repeaters also think twice before you do it and because why i'm saying this in neat exam for example for medical we have a very tremendous pioneer and well experienced neat repeaters coaching centers but when you compare the same thing for the je exam it is not the way the neat is there so again you need to choose a repeater coaching institute for doing your je main advance whether they give you completely 24/7 support they have a good faculty they have classes completely they will able to cover you the way they you expect then maybe you can take a chance to do repeaters otherwise you can definitely forget and take a plan b action congratulations to all the students who have qualified the exam certainly an exciting future awaits you but for those who did not don't worry surely something better is in store for you that's all from us today do like and share this video and subscribe to the channel mask up and stay safe